So in our last video, we set up Mapbox with React Native for our iOS app. Now let's go ahead and do that for Android. For those of you who have not seen the iOS video, I've just done a couple of things here. The first thing is to create our application using React Native. For that, I've done React Native in it, and I've gone for a particular version of React Native, which is 0.56.0, and I've called my app React Native Maps YouTube. I've used version 56 of React Native because I've seen some issues with version 57. Once our app is created, I've already seeded into our directory of our application. Here we can install our Mapbox module. If I open up the Mapbox documentation, under the documentation section, there's a React Native section. In that section over here, you need to make sure to do three things. The first one is to create a Mapbox account to get the access token. I've already created an account. Next, we need to set up the Mapbox Maps SDK for React Native. So this is the step we're at. So let's go to the documentation here. Here in the documentation, you see we have this npm install link here. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that into our app here. Once that's done, we're ready to set up the Android specific code. So if we head back to the documentation, it asks us to install for Android or iOS. And let's go to installation instructions for Android. So here in our Android installation section, we need to first update the build.gradle file in our project folder. So I'm gonna edit this in Visual Studio code itself. So here in our Android folder, we need to look for the build.gradle file. There are gonna be multiple build.gradle files so we need to make sure that we go for the one in the root Android folder first. So here in the build.gradle file, under all projects inside repositories, we need to just load in another dependency. So here, let's copy in this dependency. The one we need is this one, the jitpack.io. Let's copy that and let's paste that in here below our Google dependency. Next, we need to open the build.gradle file, which is inside the app folder, and we need to add this dependency. So let's copy this line. So to avoid confusion, I'm just gonna search for the file. So as you can see, we need to go to the Android folder, we need to go inside app, and then we need to open build.gradle. Here, under dependencies, we need to add this dependency for Mapbox React Native. Next, we need to make sure that our Android SDK versions match these versions or are newer to these versions. For this, we need to go into our build.gradle, which is in our root folder, right at the bottom here. We can see that our builds tool version is 26.0.3, which is higher than 26.0.1, and our target and compile SDK versions are 26, which are the minimum required. Next, we need to go to our settings.gradle file, and we need to paste this in there. So I'm just gonna copy this line, search for our settings.gradle and here I'm just going to paste that in. Lastly, in our main application.java, we need to add this import statement and for that import statement, we need to add this particular line inside our get packages. So let's first add the import statement. Going here, let's look for main application.java and I'm just going to add it here below this line. Now we need to just add this particular line which we can see here in the example is under the get packages function. So let's copy this from here. Come back here inside get packages. Let's put in a comma here and paste it and save that out. Now let's open up our terminal and recompile our app. So I'm gonna say react native run Android. Make sure to have a simulator running. So as we can see our app is running, we just need to paste the demo code to display the map. So I'm just gonna close out these files. So here in our Mapbox documentation, you see there's an example given here. Let's just copy that and let's replace our app.js with that code. Let's save that out. And as you can see, it did not work. As always, Android usually has some issues with every dependency, but I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So the first problem is that the app is crashing. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna put a link to this GitHub issue where I found this solution. As you can see in our build.gradle, where we had added this compile line, we need to change this up. So coming here, let's go into our build.gradle. Inside our Android app, and here, where we added compile project Mapbox React Native, let's replace this with that code I copied and let's save that out. Now let's retry the app. And as you can see, our app is now running. We have Mapbox displayed here, but why is the screen black? So again, there's another issue that we need to fix. I believe this is only limited to the simulator and it does not occur on an actual device. So for the simulator, what we need to do is we need to go into the settings 
Inside the settings, we need to go into advanced and in advanced, this open GL ES renderer, we need to change that from auto detect to swift shader. Then close this out, close out the simulator and reopen it. So I'm going to reopen the simulator from Android Studio. I'm going to be using the Nexus 5 simulator, which has an API of 27. And here I'm just going to recompile the app again. And as you can see now, our map is working. So we had to do a little bit of hacking, but ultimately we did get it to work.